Hi there, we're taking a look at another page within our document that we can animate some items. This happens to be a full page ad by a company who put an advertisement in this magazine. Extracted all the parts from it, put them on separate documents, so I can animate them within InDesign. I'm going to put this in preview mode so you can see it a little bit better. So let's just go ahead and preview it and then we'll see how we did that. So we're going to come over here to preview. I'm going to click on my little preview and the background comes up. Okay, just one more time for fun. Clear. Background, then the three photos, two photos, two photos, and two photos. The text fades in, the top two animations play, and the animations at the bottom play. So let's take a look at this. Basically what it's done is I broke down each part of the ad as separate files. So each one of these were selected and saved out as a separate file so I could animate those within InDesign. Also they have been meticulously named so this one's this picture of this gal is sales and information technology and so on so those have all been named so I it's easy for me to animate them and know where they are within the process within InDesign. Let's take a look at one of these. Let me click on this little lady right here. I see this motion path here now. Did I draw that or let's see what happened? No, nope, I used a preset here. Fly in from the bottom on page load. It takes one second and it animated to this current location. And it also faded in. Now a key thing here is it was hidden until it was animated. Now to be truthful, every one of these has the same preset animation specs. They are all fading in from the bottom. They're all hidden till animated. They're all doing one second. They're all animating to their current location. So they're all doing the same thing. Now, here's the tricky part. Let's look at the preview here again. background and then those three come in at the same time. So we start to see the animation happen but the three pictures, the one on the outside and this one on the outside and this one in the middle, they all animated at once. So let me take a look at here. Let me click on this and then I'm going to come over to my timing panel. And I noticed here that this uh, vertical blinds peeps sales vertical blind peeps sales is listed right here and notice in the tiny panel it looks like it has a connection between those that's because these are told to play or animate at the same time the first thing when the document loads so let me do this I'm going to select this group here are these three items that I have linked together and I'm going to come to the lower bottom here and it says play separately. Now let's preview it this time. Clear, play, background. Okay, so they all come on individually. That's because in the timing panel, this one is told to animate first, then this, then this. I went and took my command key or my control key and selected these three and told InDesign to play these together, play these animations together. And then I took information technology and customer service and I told them to play together. So progressively I just told InDesign play these pictures together as you load the page. At the top here, this looks like a graphic that's flying in from the left on page load and I'm gonna look at this one. Oh, this one's flying in from the right so these two graphics here driven to serve powered by innovation I named them they are gonna animate by themselves so these two are grouped together or they're linked together 
these two will play at the same time. So the picture three, two, 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 then all the text comes on. Let's look at the text. It's just set up to fade in. That's all it does. It's just a preset of fade in with a one second fade in. And all of the text items are the same thing. So all these text frames I made are doing the same thing. They have just been all linked together to play at the same time. And again, driven to serve and powered by innovation, those play together. And then these items down here, they're told to play at the same time. So it's basically breaking them apart applying the animations that you want and then in the timing panel you can link different items together to play at the same time so the timing plays the animations from the top to the bottom and you can drag these around you know to change the stacking order you can unlink them link different things together and that's what controls how the animation plays back when the viewer watches it so, I hope you enjoyed that. I just wanted to give you a brief look. Again, the hardest part, of, like I mentioned before, is opening this up in Photoshop and breaking these parts apart and saving them as individual objects. Now, I didn't have the original files. So, if you have the original InDesign files, you're home free because things are already in separate frames and they can all be separated out. The next one that we'll look at in the next feature is pretty straightforward. Let's look at the next page let me preview this and make it a little bit bigger so you can see it let me clear that so this is pretty straightforward this is just the page and the only animation is this graphic of this poor guy being under the load of how much data he has it looks like it starts out huge and just moves to that position back to its normal size or maybe a fourth of its size. Let's take a look at that. I'm not even going to wait till next time. So let me click on here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Command or Control minus. I'm going to take it out of preview. I'm going to go back to normal mode. So you can actually see how big that graphic is relative to the page. So here's the graphic. And over here, it's an Adobe Illustrator file, so it's vector-based. So I'm able to animate it and scale it up and scale it down without any degradation. So basically what's taking place, I probably use this move to the right. And I just use that as a preset, that I made it very, very large to cover the page like this. And then I had it animate from that huge size, or its current appearance down to 25% the actual size I use it in my document. So I made it huge and then I reduced it down to size to match my page and my printed document. And I animated it from center to center. So again, if we preview it, it starts out very, very large where I made it exorbitantly large and then had it scaled down to fit the actual size of the printed piece. And it turned out to be 25%. So that's pretty straightforward. It's just another animation preset. I've set some timings. And maybe I drew a motion path to go from one location to another. Also, because this again is a vector graphic, I'm able to scale it down and scale it up and it always maintains that perfect quality. Hope you enjoyed that, and we'll check with you next time on another page.